Canada will always stand up for human rights. She may have been speaking at a conference on LGBTQ rights, but the questions for Christia Freeland this afternoon were all about the Saudi situation. We're waiting for answers on how uh, Saudi Arabia intends to go forward with the relationship. A relationship that's become increasingly hostile after a tweet on Friday from Global Affairs saying that Canada is gravely concerned about additional arrests of civil society and women's rights activists in Saudi Arabia, including Samar Badawi. She's the sister of jailed human rights blogger Raif Badawi, whose wife and children live in Quebec. Canada urged Saudi authorities to immediately release them and all other peaceful human rights activists. Saudi Arabia retaliated, calling the criticism an affront to the kingdom, which requires sharp response to prevent any party from attempting to meddle with Saudi sovereignty. It said it was immediately freezing new trade with Canada and expelling the ambassador, measures that experts say are both aggressive and revealing. Saudi Arabia has been spending quite a bit of time telling the international community that things are changing. These aggressive retaliatory moves against Canada demonstrate exactly the opposite. Today, Saudi authorities announced that its state airline will no longer fly to Toronto. And perhaps the most widespread move, the more than 10,000 Saudi students who go to Canadian universities are being told they have to leave and go somewhere else. This professor says it will not only throw the fall semester into jeopardy for the students, but it will affect schools too. Foreign students in this country pay a much higher tuition than, than Canadian citizens. Uh, and, and most Canadian universities rely on foreign student tuitions to, to add money to their budgets. Canada says its embassy in Saudi Arabia remains open and that officials are waiting for clarification on exactly how trade will be affected and whether or not there'll be any impact on that controversial $15 billion deal for light armored vehicles. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver. And let's pick up on a point in Breyer's report. The thousands of Saudi students currently studying in Canada, this will have a big impact on them, as we heard, and the schools they pay tuition to. Saudis make up the fourth largest contingent of foreign students at Canadian universities and colleges behind China, India, and South Korea. The Saudi Arabia Education Ministry is reportedly coming up with an urgent plan to relocate the students to other countries. Likely destinations could include the United States, and the UK. The story's been generating a lot of reaction online, including one inflammatory picture posted to Twitter. Here's a photo tweeted out by a Saudi youth organization. It shows a, an Air Canada plane flying towards the CN Tower, what many considered a reference to the 9-11 attacks. The group has since removed this image and issued an apology. <laughs> 